doing another Monster High look and this one is inspired by the lovely Draculaura. So I mainly used black and pink eyeshadows. I've drawn black and pink stripes at the inner and outer corners, uh, some bats along the inner part of the crease, uh, the lid is covered in glitter and I of course added a cute pink heart at the side of one of the eyes. Now let's get started with the tutorial. I'm starting off by applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. I want a sharp line at the outer corner, so I'm applying a piece of tape from the outer corner of the eye and up toward the eyebrow. I'm going to cover my lid with this hot pink by Sugar Pill called Dolly Pop. I'm also bringing it into the crease, going back and forth with a blending brush. To help blend out the crease, I'm going to use this lighter pink by Violet Voss called Gianna. So as you can see, I've brought the pink pretty high up and that's just to get some room for the bats that I'll be drawing later. Time to remove the tape. For my brow bone highlight, I'll be using this Walk of Shame eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. At the outer corner here, I brought the pink a little bit too high up, so I'm covering it with this brow bone shade. I want to make a triangular shape at the outer corner of the eye, so I'm going in with another piece of tape and I'm placing it right below where I had the first one. On the inside of the gap that I just created, I'm going to place this slightly darker pink by Coastal Sense called Vibrant Pink. Then I'm removing the tape. As my inner corner highlight, I'm as usual using Taco by Sugar Pill. On my lower lash line, I'm going to use this black by Makeup Geek called Corrupt. Now I'm blending that out with a pencil brush. To line my eyes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Super Liner in Carbon Gloss. Next, I'm outlining the triangular shape with the liner. Then I'm drawing the stripes. I'm drawing a flake going out from the inner corner and then slightly below that I'm drawing another one so that I get a gap at the inner part of the eye as well. Then I'm filling that in with the vibrant pink. I'm also drawing some black stripes here. I'm filling in my waterline with Inglot's Black Gel Liner. Then I'm setting that in place with the black eyeshadow. Now I'm going to start creating the bats and first I'm drawing the basic shape of them. Uh, then I'm filling them in and just perfecting the shape as I go. And I'm also using the liquid liner to do this.
Next, I'll be using this baby pink glitter by LA Splash called Daytona Beach. First, I'm applying the Violet Voss glitter adhesive. Then I'm placing the glitter all over the lid and also up into the crease. Now I'm applying the Inglot False Lash Effect Mascara. For false lashes, I'll be using these ones called Bombshell by House of Lashes. This is the completed eye makeup. Now I'm going to do some contouring. So I'm picking up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to use this shade right here. I'm going to use this hot pink one by Makeup Geek called Love Affair. To highlight, I'm going to use the shimmery shade in the contour kit. On my lips, I'm going to use this pink lip gloss by Buxom called Naomi. I hope that you liked the look and I'll link to all my Monster High tutorials down below along with a list of all the products that I've used in this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!